So you're using Cloudflare and you're getting an infinite redirect loop in your web browser. I'm here. So you're using Cloudflare and when you open your website or maybe parts of your website in your web browser, you're getting an infinite redirect loop. Well, first let me explain why that's the case. Um, and then I'll explain um, three methods that you can uh, go about fixing this problem. So the, the reason, uh, or the most common reason this happens is uh, you have a script or a software on your website. It could be e-commerce website, it could be a, um, uh, a uh, part of uh, WordPress or WordPress plugin. Um, but whatever the case is, your website is forcing um, the audience to get redirected to HTTPS, um, which is the uh, which in, uh, and by traffic that goes through HTTPS is encrypted. Basically, if you're using Cloudflare by default, you get set up with the flexible SSL solution. Sounds great, but what flexible SSL really means is that your customers or your website visitors, uh, their data transmitted from them to Cloudflare is encrypted, but from Cloudflare to your server is not encrypted. So your server um, will recognize that it's not um, the HTTPS and it's the HTTP and will try to redirect to HTTPS. Uh, and then what I'll do is it'll uh, hit back to, you know, it'll, it'll create that, that internet loop. So to resolve this problem, we need to either enable HTTPS throughout the whole transmission process or um, completely eliminate HTTPS throughout this process. So the first method um, is change from, from flexible SSL to full SSL and you can generate a self-assigned uh, SSL certificate. Now, if you are using shared hosting, chances are they may lock this feature and you will not have access. But um, if you have a VPN or a dedicated server, um, then you will have access to this. Basically, in short, if you have access to, in addition to cPanel, if you have WHM, WHM is kind of like the manager for cPanel. If you have WHM access, then this segment of the tutorial uh, uh, will be helpful to you. So uh, basically, uh, this is a demo website that I you know, don't use, um, so I can change this stuff around. So basically, once you log into your Cloudflare dashboard, click on Flexible and change that from Flexible to Full. And then once you change it from Flexible to Full, um, Cloudflare will expect uh, and SSL on the other side, which is your web server. So uh, log into WHM. And again, if you don't have WHM uh, access, I'll go into two other methods that you can uh, utilize. So what you want to do here is type in SSL in the search bar, uh, click on generate an SSL certificate and signing request. So just go ahead and fill this out. Um, and uh, after you fill this out, it'll generate a self-assigned SSL certificate. Um, after that step, click on to install an SSL certificate on a domain. Uh, and what you want to do is start typing in your domain name. So if I type in maybe uh, or, or whatever, um, then uh, once you have your domain name uh, filled out, you can click on autofill uh, by domain and it'll just fill out this information, click install, and um, that should fix your uh, the issue with the, uh, with the redirect. Um, because at this point, SSL is enabled across the whole um, transmission process from your website visitors to Cloudflare to your web host. The second method is to enable full strict SSL. And what this means is that um, your that the transmission process from customer to Cloudflare to your server is all encrypted and your server will validate with a certificate authority. And that certificate authority is just kind of a fancy word for 
those uh, companies that provide the SSM certificates. Um, I recommend Komodo, uh, GeoTrust, and Sinatra. Now, um, if you are running a small business and money is uh, a factor, which in most cases it is, SSM certificates um, that you purchase could get really expensive. Some of them are over a thousand dollars. Some of the uh, GeoTrust and uh, Semantic certificates. You, all you need to fix this problem is an, an entry level certificate, and you can uh, contact your web hosting company, uh, request to buy the cheapest SSL certificate from them, and have them install it. Now, as far as the pricing, you should not be paying more than $75 for an entry level SSL certificate. If you are, um, they may be making some uh, money in addition. Um, to just installing and selling the certificate to you. Uh, once you have uh, the SSL certificate installed, then you can um, switch this to full strip, and that should fix the error that you're getting with the infinite redirect. Uh, and this is very similar to the first method, except this method is even safer. And also, if you don't have access to WHM, um, then this is probably the, the uh, best solution for you. The third method is to force um, all traffic to HTTP. Now, um, you can do this by editing the .ht access file in your public underscore HTML directory or whatever uh, your web hosting company, um, whatever web hosting control panel they use, whether it's Flask or any other solution. So it, it may not always be a uh, public underscore HTML, but wherever the home directory is, in there there's a file, a hidden file called .htaccess, but it should show it in most FTP programs. So in there, you can uh, add a piece of code, which I'll include the link in this video, uh, that will force redirect all traffic to uh, HTTP instead of HTTPS. Now, if uh, you are using WordPress, uh, there are plugins out there that will just do that automatically for you. You can search the plugins uh, library for WordPress Force HTTP, and that will um, accomplish that. However, if you are accepting any kind of payment information um, or sensitive information, um, do not use this step. I recommend this step, uh, or do not use this method. Use the second method I discussed. Um, especially if you're accepting payment information because there's this thing called PCI DSS standards and these are basically policies imposed by Visa, MasterCard, American Express and Discover and um, I have another video uh, if you want to go to my channel and kind of just search for PCI DSS um, you'll find the video and in short, if you're in violation, your business could be at risk of getting fined, and these fines range from thousands of dollars to over hundred thousand dollars. I've worked in the credit card privacy industry, and I've seen some of these case examples. And not all of them are giant uh, um, corporate companies; some of them are small businesses. So just uh, keep that in mind. And also, with um, if you're the software that you're using on your website, if, it's, uh, if it doesn't require SSL then this method would work for you. Go with uh, the second method. And also, just as a general rule of thumb, the internet is going towards a way where everything um, uh, is recommended to be encrypted. So methods, uh, the first one, the second method is probably what I recommend, not this one. This method will uh, fix the immediate issue, but it's not the best practice. And the best method is the second method to have the full um, strip tests out and have your server validate with third party certificate authority. That would be the method that I recommend. So, hopefully, you found this um, video helpful, and hopefully, uh, the methods in this video will help you resolve your issue. Um, some of these issues could be caused by a whole array of problems, so if it, these methods don't fix the issue, I'm sorry, uh, best of luck with the issue. But uh, I would say for the 90% of users, this is the uh, fix for it. So hopefully you did find it helpful. And if you have um, liked this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to post questions and comments below. And um, be sure to check out some of my other uh, 
YouTube videos have tons of videos on digital marketing, including Google AdWords, email marketing, um, SEO, as well as um, press release distribution. So check those out. It will probably be useful for you and your business. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and thank you for subscribing.